Hello guys, I'm Spicy Bill. Welcome back to another episode of Gunpla Re Review. So today we'll be looking at more grunt suits. This time uh, we're looking at uh, more advanced grunt suits of the uh, Federation slash not Federation. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, these guys. So obviously uh, we've seen the uh, Gustav Carl several times on this channel. Um, you know, to be honest with you, uh, after having this kit for quite a while, uh, it does have a lot of problems, especially in the leg joints, but it's overall a pretty, uh, pretty decent kit. Uh, of course, uh, it, it does like to do the splits. Um, some of the uh, joints in the legs are a little loose due to that, you know, that whole uh, gimmick where you pull down the legs so you can get more articulation. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, you just got to keep an eye out on this guy because, uh, you know, you leave him standing long enough with the legs splay open <laughs> like that. Uh, he has a tendency to uh, do the splits and that may be very problematic. Also, yeah, uh, it's usually a bigger problem if you have it will like a bigger weapon, you know. Uh, you know, if you just let it hold this stinky beam rifle. Uh, I don't think you're really going to run into too much problems as long as, you know, you keep the legs together like that. But yeah, this is a, this is a pretty bulky kit. It's still pretty nice. So, uh, one problem is the price is still not very nice. So, <laughs> that might be uh, the determining factor for most people. Still, it's uh, it looks pretty cool. Alright, so that's a good stuff, Carl. Next, we're going to be looking at this guy right here. This is the, uh, well, this is actually a Jagan Burnham type. This is not uh, used by the Federation. This is used by the Burnham Corps. Um, <clears throat> a thing in the, uh, well, the anime series that nobody cares about. It's a web series, obviously known as uh, Twilight Axis. And, yeah, this is, uh, this is why this thing is a premium Bandai. So obviously most of you guys know the Jagan is probably the most uh, reprinted kit prior to 2019 and the reason for saying that is because well uh, in 2019 to celebrate the uh, 40th anniversary of the uh, Gundam franchise uh, Bandai has actually reprinted the RX-78-2 I believe uh, the original version as well as the uh, revive version to death. Uh, basically, every uh, almost every uh, baseball team in Japan has their own version of the RX-78. Also, uh, you know, un like companies like Uniqlo has their own RX-78, and also I think the uh, one of the ports in Japan is also celebrating it, so they have their own clear RX-78. Not counting all the uh, you know all the. Uh, a metallic injection and all the uh, you know Tokyo base exclusive and stuff like that. So the RX seventy eight as of twenty nineteen is the most reprinted HUC kit ever. Prior to that is this guy right here. So we have the uh, you know we got the standard release. We got the Bill Fighters version. Uh, we also got the Bill Divers version, the uh, Jagan Blastmaster, and then we also got all the premium Bandai variant of the Jagan. So. Yeah, it's a lot. Uh, I think it's close to like 17 kits at this point. 17 reprints of the uh, Jagan. And the RX-78 probably is going to get even more uh, by the by the time the air year is over. So, yeah. Anyway, so let's go ahead and take a look at This is actually a pretty decent kit. So what they added here, it's uh, new points of articulation right here. Uh, the old one just have the ball joint to the poly cap. Uh, this time, they added uh, extra points of articulation you can see right here. This is actually uh, seen on the uh, Jagan Blastmaster. So you can see that there's extra points of articulation inside the hips. So, you know, that kind of act as the fly cut, but it doesn't really work that well, <laughs> as you can see right here. Yeah, <clears throat> I wish it has universal joint instead of the pseudo, uh, you know, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but yeah, 
this this could definitely be better. This is not a universal joint. This is just something that's shoehorned in there, and it's not so great. Okay, um, obviously, yeah, this thing is in this weird purple color. So, some people are gonna like it. Some people are not gonna like it. Obviously, due to the fact that you know it's in this weird purple color, but still, I, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, it's basically just a jig. There's really uh, not much else other than the specialized headpiece right here. It's got this visor. <laughs> or, yeah, it's kind of like the Dragon Ball Z Scouter kind of thing. But, oh, I think it's cool. You have the option to deal, deal uh, two versions of this uh, visor. You have the round visor and then you have the square visor. I just like this one. Uh, if you want to see how the other one looks like, I'll put the link to the original review in the video description. But yeah, this is pretty cool. And they also come with this uh, very uh, interesting looking weapon here. So basically, uh, this is uh, this is just a javelin launcher. Let you uh, launch this flaming javelin thing. Yeah. As you can see, I, uh, I pulled it out already. And then you can just stick it back in. There, there's no action feature. You just stick it in and then you fire it. Or, or you pull it out. That's it. It's got a working vertical grip here. And it doubles as a machine gun or beam rifle. So you got these uh, tips right here where you can fire a beam projectile. This guy does come with his own uh, Jagan beam rifle as well. So. And the spear can actually be held by the other hand. So. Yeah, you can use it as a melee weapon though, and you can just throw it or something like that. It's uh this is not fire, this is like supposed to be beam effect. Yeah. If you watch Twilight Axis, it really didn't uh this thing really didn't do much. Put some Anaheim logos here because uh obviously this thing is made by you know Anaheim Electronics. And we got your standard Jagan Shield right here. So yeah, really nothing special. Uh you just have to pay premium Bandai price for the uh, the spear and the uh, the launcher, the javelin launcher, <laughs> spear or javelin, and then the extra uh, head piece right here for the head, right there. The options to build like you know a specialized visor piece. So that is pretty much it for this Jagan. Next, let's take a look at the uh, Jesta Cannon. So this is supposed to be the replacement for the uh, uh, the Jagan unit. And this one is like a slight modified, more advanced version of the Jesta. So, uh, it's basically a Jesta with added, uh, you know, with a specialized backpack that let it uh, fire the beam cannon right here. This thing cannot extend. I, yeah, this thing cannot extend. I almost took the backpack apart. But, I can articulate, so this is a beam weapon. This guy is, uh, you know, this guy's got real big balls. He went, uh, he went after the uh, Sinanju, and I don't think it ended well for him. But anyway, uh, there's also another scene where this uh, just a cannon came down and stepped on the uh, Delta Gundam, or what was it, the Delta Gundam or the Zeta Plus, something like that. Um, stop it from like uh, transforming and taking off so that was actually pretty interesting also got the machine gun here Gatling gun so it's got uh, you know I, I prefer this thing having just like you know more symmetrical look they could have either given us two of these or two of these but having you know the asymmetrical look isn't really that appealing but you know I know some, to some people some people like asymmetry and this might be cool uh, the Jesta is actually uh, one of my favorite looking grunt suits. Uh, before I seen the Jesta, I liked the Jagan more. But after uh, you know, building the Jesta, I definitely like the Jesta a lot better. Because, uh, you know, I, I just really, I, I really don't dig like the whole cross section on the Jagan. This thing just looks kind of meh. Especially uh, because uh, if you're looking at it, there's like no protection. Basically, if you want to like you know, break off the uh, joints here, you can just fire at the hip joints. <laughs> That's going to be a disaster for the Jesta. With the Jagan, you know, it's got the front skirt, everything is well protected. Yeah. Anyway, I put a bunch of decals on this kit. 
It's also armed to the T, so you got all these grenade racks right here on the legs, grenade racks right here, beam saber. Uh, it's got a little shield right here for the forearm. It's also got that, oops, uh, it's also got that gigantic uh, just uh, uh, beam rifle, which I don't have right here. If you want to see that, uh, link in the video description to the original review. But this is a, this is a pretty solid kit. It's even got universal hip joints, unlike the Jagan, so... That's definitely nice, although it does feel a little loose for some reason. I think it's probably because of the poly cap. Yeah, <clears throat> but either way, it's a, it's a very uh, nice looking kit. I don't know why my thing is so loose. Just the hip joints, they feel like, you know, they feel very loosey-goosey. <clears throat> you also have the options to get the uh, standard Jagan, which is uh, just this guy without the, uh, you know, big shoulder big shoulder pads, a shield right here. Uh, on the uh, standard J uh, Jesta, you you attach uh, the beam saber to the forearm. So that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, this kit is just so loose. I might have to replace all the poly caps in the joint parts. But either way, this is a... Uh, well, and they also got a different backpack that has like a, a sh shoulder shield kind of gimmick similar to the uh, just uh, the Gustav Carl. So yeah, did I just call this guy a Jagan? No, I, I don't think I did, but if I did, this is a Jester. Please don't get it confused. <laughs> okay, so the articulation on this guy is okay. You know, we got a double joint the knee that's a little bit... No, it's just barely 90 degrees, so that's kind of not so great. But the rest of the articulation on this guy is pretty okay. So you got the... Uh, the cockpit piece right here and it kind of get in the way too so okay so uh, final verdict I think this is a good looking kit the articulation is just barely okay I guess due to the fact that this thing is kind of bulky but then you know due to the design I don't think there's really much you can do with the uh, waist articulation here uh, we do have the swing out poly cap here for the shoulder. You know your standard. Uh, uh, this is a this is a ninety degree bend right right there. This is single jointed elbow, and there's really not much you can do other than going more than slightly more than ninety degrees. So, yeah, let's get your basic uh, bicep swivel. You know, I wish uh, more articulation were added into the Jesta. It's supposed to be a more advanced than the Jagan. But either way, I think this kit came out in like 2010 or 2011, so I guess they really didn't put all that extra effort into it, which they should have. <laughs> supposed to be an improvement over the Jagan, but oh well, whatever. Um, lately, they have been uh, reprinting the uh, Jesta as well, but unfortunately only as premium Bandai kits from the uh, Gundam narrative. You know, I, I really wish they would do more of this just us because uh, I keep calling these guys Jagan, right? <laughs> I don't know. I just noticed that. Well, you know, I, I really wish uh, they uh, reprint more of these guys. You know, maybe in different colors and stuff like that because uh, this is uh, you know this is something that people should have in the collection as a retail kit. The the funny thing is with the uh, the Jesta is kind of they they just kind of disappear after uh, you know after Gundam Unicorn and Gundam Narrative. Um, I hope to see more of these guys in maybe uh, why is there so many lint? <clears throat> I I kind of want to see more of these guys in uh, what's that the Gundam, not Gundam Sentinel the Gundam uh, the new series that's coming out uh, Hathaway's Flash. So I'd like to see more of these guys in Hathaway's Flash. Uh, because after uh, after Unicorn and after Narrative, uh, the Jagan was still being field in F91. So, And you don't see any Jesters at all. So I don't know. Maybe these guys are just very limited. They all got destroyed somehow. Or they got repurposed. Or something like that. Anyway, that is pretty much it for this re review. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, don't confuse uh, the Jesta with the Jagan. The Jesta is more advanced. And that is pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching.